Thank you very much. I am Freak here with the man on the moon, or just the moon himself. I don't know. It wasn't funny. It's okay. I appreciate the the attempted smile to, to humor me. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about the fact that you guys two owed over Liquid. Uh, certainly, it was a bit expected based on the records, but uh, tell me about how you felt coming in and then after the match. Uh, coming in, I think I felt really confident, but after we played the first game and like during the first game, my confidence started to shatter. Um, I don't know. I think both teams were pretty bad, to be honest. Like we're definitely in a really rough shape right now. But I think we're stepping it up, and like some games we can play really well, and some games we don't. It's just kind of a coin toss for us. It feels like. Uh, is it a coin toss, or can you think of like why it is that it's so inconsistent? Just a coin toss. Like sometimes we play extremely clean, and then sometimes we just don't. And there's like no reason. It's just how it is, I guess. So we gotta fix that. We're working on fixing it, and like we're working on other problems. But um, right now we really have to like every win matters a lot, so it's really important that we got a two out today. Uh, my advice, two-sided coin. Heads on both sides, it'll go much better for you. Yeah, yeah I, I just, you know, that's a free one. You're welcome. Um, anyway, though, let's, let's move on to the fact that uh, we played in 713. Of course, you weren't at Rift Rivals, so so not as a diss, but, like, you did this, like, O-face to me. So I thought you were, like, thinking I was throwing shade or something. Anyway, we're getting off topic. 713, uh, Cinderhulk got buffed. I noticed you played uh, a couple of Cinderhulks yourself. We saw, um, like, Sejuani and Maokai as well from your opponent. Um, when Jat and I were casting, we thought Sejuani and Maokai were pretty cool as well. So I kind of want to know what you think about uh, the, the maybe new and upcoming tank junglers and what you thought about what Anori picked in this match? Well, this patch is like pretty boring. Like Cinder Hulk is really slow and like pretty boring, but honestly, I'm just excited for next patch to play Kane. Like I think I'm just going to play Kane every single game. Um, Cinder Hulk is like pretty good now, but you feel on the back end a lot of times, like what, what happened to Anori the last game can happen to you if you play versus an early game juggler like Rek'Sai. So Cinder Hulk, you scale super well, but your early game is just like stuck farming and Anori got pretty screwed from my early invades that game, so. So early invades, screw them over, sounds good. Uh, talk to me about um, the fact that you guys actually are one of the very few teams now to actually not make subs in the middle of the season. Uh, if I have my numbers right, seven of the 10 teams have actually switched their rosters at some point during the during the regular split in summer. You guys, of course, have not, same five every game. Uh, tell me what you think about the fact that you're sticking with the same five, and is that a, a positive or a negative compared to the other teams who are changing? Honestly, I think our problem isn't with the players. Like, I think we're all really good players individually, and all of our problems come from, like, Cohesion is a team and knowing what to do and when to do it. So subbing out a player or anything like that would just make the problem worse, I think. Right, fair enough. Uh, final questions uh, coming into your next week. I guess you said you've been trying to fix the consistency. You've got Envy and Immortals, I believe it is next week for you guys. You said every win is important. What do you think coming into week number seven? Honestly, I don't really know how the two teams are doing. Like Envy, I think, is looking not that great anymore. And Immortals, are they looking good? Uh, they won. Oh, they won today? Okay, well, I think Immortals has like a pretty good record, but they're not looking like a really top team is how I feel. So I think we can do well. Next week is like a really important week for us though. Like we definitely have to make playoffs. If we don't make playoffs, we're like really bad. So making playoffs is super important and we have to like 2-0 the next weeks because our record fucking sucks right now. All right, well, good luck with that one. And uh, thanks for the interview and thanks for the F-bomb at the very end of it all. On to the analyst desk. <laughs>